What is going on guys? This is Jan coming from you from the Arcane Lighthouse bringing you another box opening. So as I mentioned before in previous videos, I'm going to be doing a con slash dominaria block uh, for cubed. Um, I feel like the, the cube has potential to grow into other sets and I think that I can add more sets as we go along. It could be a growing cube and we'll be drafting for about around like four people. So... I thought Cons was a perfect block. Uh, I, well, not perfect, but it had a lot of things that I liked about it. Um, the warrior mentality. Almost like, you know, like different regions, like clans and everything. I really wanted to build a Soul Tide deck, so I didn't want to build a whole EDH deck on it. After spending, like, thousands of dollars on my uh, current three EDH decks, so I think, you know, drafting would be fun. Making, like, a 60-card uh, Brawl deck, maybe. Seeing how it's a Singleton Commander deck. Uh, see uh, cubed anyway, so we're just gonna get right into it. I traded in like 10 cards to get like four boxes, so it was kind of like, all right, well, I was using a bunch of uh, them, like, Lili I was using Liliana the Veil tokens as, um, let me just fix the camera real quick. I was using Liliana the Veil tokens as, uh, as tokens basically, so I was like, all right, and I was using Karn Liberators as, uh, my Karn Construct tokens. So you can call me like, excessive, I think. I don't know why my camera is, like, falling so much. Okay. Let me just do that there. Okay, well, there's my problem. Okay. Let me just fix this real quick. Okay. Don't know why my camera is doing this, but... This is why I like having, like, two people recording, but... Unfortunately, Julian's at work. So we have to do this. <clears throat> Alright, camera, just please work with me. Alrighty, so the camera is being kind of a unnecessary dick, so we're going to try to just do this real quick. Hold on. Jesus. Oh my goodness. You guys can fast forward to this part, I'm sorry. I'm a very fast pack opener anyway, so it's just going to be like 10 minutes, including this like, little, okay, there we go. So hopefully we can pull some good stuff out of here, maybe some fetches, remember, wow. I guess this was the last block that included the paper. So, um, there's a couple uh, cool things I like about this set. The uh, Definitely the, the, the top of the clan, you know, the, the leader or whatnot, that's pretty cool. Um, I like this set. Oh, it's hard to open. Um, beautiful. Oh no, it's a little damaged. Might have just damaged it on the way in. Also, the cardstock, it's very different from um, everything else from the uh, current sets. Alright, so Mardu Charm, uh, we have Seeker of the Way, and our first card is a Siege Rhino for our rare. Feels very, like, durable. Like, thick, like, with a C. With two C's, not just with K, a K, a C, like thick, like Wendy's thick, but <clears throat> Jesus Christ, um, <clears throat> you know, Wendy's like the whole roasting going on, like everyone's calling her like thick, I was like Jesus Christ, but anyway, we're just going to keep going here, um, Marty Tom again, okay, alright, we have uh, Keru, Lick Lord, I know this guy was really cool, okay, Alrighty, so and it's a lot thicker for uh Yeah, it's really thick. The cardstock feels really nice and durable. Monastery sphere. Oh crackling doom, nice. So we're gonna definitely throw in some uh tribal colors in here, make hopefully make some interesting plays. Nothing too ridiculous. Alrighty, so... I'm gonna try to... 
Also, the morph concept was really cool. Every block has a morph concept, I think, now. Saved the inward eye, not really, eh, throttle. Like, every single, every single clan, or every single block, sorry, has, like, their own, like, mechanic that they all, like, share within the set, so... I thought that was really interesting how everything went and did that, so I'm just going to fix the camera real quick. Really need to get a... This is like a new camera stand, too, and I don't know why it's just drooping. Oh, my God. Jesus. All right, so... Okay. Eat it! <laughs> All right, um, Dragon's Eye Servants, um, Frontier... Yonvak and uh, Ankle Shanker. Alright, so my camera stand is starting to droop like a lot, so let me try to see if I can fix this by just standing the, le the, the rear legs up. I think that actually might fix the problem. Alright. Yeah, there we go. So that fixed the problem. I wish I knew that beforehand, so. Alrighty, so we're just gonna go through this really, really quick. Well, not too quick. I really this is my first box of cons actually. So, alrighty, Butcher of the Horde. All right, nothing really amazing to write home about. So, <clears throat> um, waiting on the new set of Dominaria to come out. So, I know it just came out, but I'm like just being greedy. I just want to finish this. Uh, this block up the cubed. Ooh, brave the sands. Take up arms and we have end hostilities. Okay. There's a like when the companies made these booster boxes, they were like, oh, people will buy like a couple at a time, and now people are just buying boxes and boxes just to open up like what they need. All right, nice, Narset, uh, first Mythic. Um, with the whole concept behind this, I really wanted to go more for playability rather than value. Um, I'd rather be able to pull more things that are playable rather than things that are just kind of like, okay, well, I can I can sell this, but I can't play it because uh, X, Y, and Z. So, I don't know, that's just my thoughts on it. Ooh, that guy looks interesting. Master, <laughs> Master of the Wit, do you know the Wit? I'm sorry. All right, so we're gonna keep going, and we have Dragon Throne of Tarkir. So I am the captain now. So that's the discount conspiracy chair. All right. Oh my God, why is the front card always damaged? Might be the way how they cut him, or I'm just an idiot opening the wrong way. Is this a nut? Bot Bloodfire Mentor. Hmm. Warning of the eye, and we... Oh, nice! <laughs> I was actually hoping to get her. And offense of the foremost, okay. Canyon Lurkers. <clears throat> Not a lot of mythics out of this set that I really liked. It's just, um... That was just overall a really good playable set. Fun to draft. Um, but other than that, I had a lot of good legendary cards in there. And a lot of good tribal stuff, too. Uh, Wingmate Rock. It's kind of surprising that... Master of the Way. I'm so glad that is not a, a foil. Um, a rare, sorry. But, uh, another good card. But, really hate pulling this card. I pulled it out of, like, loose packs before, and I'm just like, Jesus. But, I'm wondering why there's so many Mythics on one side. So, that's kind of weird. I know Eldritch Moon, you can map out the boxes by just getting the first two packs on the left, and it was just Mythics every single time, because it was uh, how it was for me when I was opening two boxes in a row. So... Oh, first fetch land, we have Bloodstained Mire. But uh, I would open the first two packs, and, and I knew this because I was opening two boxes at a time, uh, at the time, so I was doing a holiday special on her channel, and first two packs were both Mythics, um, and nothing else, so I was I was happy pulling Liliana, the Last Hope, and Emrakul, the Promised End, uh, just like right, like right out of the get-go, and I was like, alright, well I can just pocket this and just sell everything else, but I was like, nah, let's not be a dick. Alright, Icy Blast. <clears throat> so we have two more boxes. We have Dragons of Tarkir, and we have uh, Fate Reforged. All right, we got Necropolis Fiend.
All right, we have Savage Knuckle Blade. If anything, I might, you might, like, Dominaria has so many good monocolor cards that I think that it'd be a really good supporting set for the cons cube that I'm trying to make. So, we'll see how it goes. Salty Charm, and we have Howl of the Horde. Okay. So I might just want to make like tribal stuff and then just pretty much make try to put in like as many good cards for each tribe as I can. Um, <clears throat> so that way I can support the block. Uh, Manus Rider, really good card. But um, just to support every tribe. That's what that's what I want to do. Probably like a themed cube. That's what I wanted to do probably. Since it's single send, I really needed like to buy each of... Uh, probably not necessarily buy every single thing, but I thought opening would be really fun. Uh, wooded Foothills, the rare, so we have two fetch lands so far, so I think the average is around three, if I'm not mistaken, but um, probably going to go through this, uh, have Julian come over, help me build this block, or block cubed, or whatever, and then really just go from there. I was thinking about picking up some boxes of uh, Modern Masters, just to really, uh, harden skills, there we go, um, really like nail it down on this. Um, I really needed a, a set that had a very a shared or conjoined uh, mechanic, so I didn't want to buy random sets, but I think Modern Masters has so many good staples in general that like it's just so good to just throw into a cube like this, especially like if, when it needs like support. So Utter End is really good. All right, it's because it's instant. And Tusk lost it on is our foil. So I might pick up a box of uh, Eternal Masters, Modern Masters 2017. Oh, not Modern Masters 2017. I might pick up the original Modern Masters, uh, depending on how much I love this cube, which I think I do, and just drop like four or five hundred on a box and be like, all right, let's open some money. But uh, we're just gonna keep going here. Okay, Throne of the Spirit Dragon, and we have a Trap Essence, a uh, Teamer. Retribution of the Ancients. Also, it was one of the last sets that had three block cycles, so really excited to be doing a cubed on this. So our rare is going to be a thousand wins. I was thinking about buying some boxes of BFC just for, like, the lands, like, the expeditions, but I was like, no, this is going to be terrible, so. Master of Pearls, okay. Um, I was really hoping to pull Tassiger, but... I'm not, oh, actually, no, I'm stupid. A Tassiger is in a Fate Reforged. <laughs> Duh. All right, so. Okay, Necropolis Fiend. Pulling that again. That's, that's interesting. I don't really know why this is drooping so much. Probably like the weight from the camera, but oh well. I told Julian that I wanted to get like a suspended camera, a camera holster, but that'll just make it easier for recording matches. But uh, we'll just kind of see how the funding is. Uh, Pearl Lake Ancient. Not a lot of value out of this box, but then again, not, that wasn't really the goal. So. So yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of editing in terms of just moving the camera around. So thanks for sticking with me. Okay, Blood Soak Champion. I love this card because uh, we know a guy who just throws us in a Duran deck. Lol. Uh, Julian will get this reference. Please don't shoot up this. I'm just kidding. No, <laughs> but like, no. But this this card's just so bad in Duran. But uh, yeah. So. 
yeah, don't run this. And Foil Swampy. Now the glue's like so on there. We we'll still have not hit our foil rare. Uh, mind swipe, okay. I'm hoping to get a foil fetch. Said every person ever, but you know. Ooh, windswept heaths. And we, oh my god, oh my god. I thought it was a windswept heath foil, and I was like, aha, flying crane technique. And I was like, Jesus. Flying crane technique? That's probably the worst rare you can get. Um, not going in the cube, just just to let you guys know, but maybe. All right, I think there's more cards that we could probably fit in there that doesn't, so we don't have to use that. Oh my god, that was bad. All right, we have End Hostilities again. So we have three fetches, really good run. I think I got cons for about a hundred, which isn't which isn't terrible. Uh, we have Keru Snail. Uh, sp that was a snail catcher, uh, spell catcher, uh, but not bad for what it is. Um, the price is roughly averaging around like one twenty ish, so it's not too terrible. Coming down to the end of the box here. I totally forgot. I was like, oh yeah, content fetches. I was like, oh, well, how am I gonna get the fetches? Um, so we have, uh, Dragon Style Twins, but I was like, oh crap, how am I going to get fetches? I don't really know if I can get fetches, and then I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> so, uh, if we can pull some fetches out of, uh, Fate, I know that they put in, like, random slots for your land cycles. So if we can get one from there, that'd be great, the colors we don't have. We have Villainous Wealth. Uh, Reed, I fucking hate you for playing this card. Ridiculous good if you can get it off really with for a lot of for a lot of mana, but Just a dick just overall dick card to play which is why people run it in EDH Which is hilarious All right, we have a uh, <laughs> Meandering tower shell Jesus Christ. It's a turtle. I tried to make it. Uh, what was it? Those obscure commanders I wanted to make like a turtle and crab tribal deck and like there's like not enough legendaries to make that deck possible or support so like it'd be stupid to buy a cavern of souls and be like i call i declare crabs and you're just like what so we have another we have an avalanche tusker so we're getting one of we got i think all three we have three of them that are our tribal last pack Alrighty. And we have Ghostfire Blade. All right, so that is Khan's of Tarkir. Uh, we'll clear the table off and restart it and with a different box. Next, is, next up is Fate Reforged, and I hope you guys stick around to watch the next two boxes. Peace out.